Hello. Well, I've got my favourite shoes on, all ready to go walking. And uh, today uh, we are taking you on a couple of prayer walks. But we hope in your mind you will be walking around your community praying for your neighbours and friends and all the activities that happen around you. And so I'm at Ponsonuth and Sam is at St Day. But as we pray, we remember that it's one of the most powerful things that we can do. No prayer is ever wasted. And I find that a great encouragement. And so let's set off and let's go and pray around our communities today as we worship God as his people in our communities. Before we set off on our walk around St Day and around Pontsonuth, we're going to start with a song that speaks about taking God's love outside of our buildings and into the world around us. So we sing together, we'll walk the land.
A reading for our prayer walks in St. Day and Ponsonith comes from Psalm 90 and we're reading verses 12 to 17 from the New Living Translation. Teach us to realise the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. O oh Lord, come back to us. How long will you delay? Take pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, so that we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. As we walk down this street, we see the houses around us, the places where people have made their families and lives. We pray for God's blessing on these places. We thank you, loving Lord, for the neighbourhood in which you have placed us. We pray for good relationships, for peace and harmony within this street. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray for the people living in these houses, these people whom you love. We don't know what times of their life they might be in at the moment, but you do. And we pray for your blessing on them in joy and in sorrow, and that they would come to know you as a place of safety and refuge. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord, our God, show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. We thank you, Lord, for the witness of your people who gather in this place and the other churches in this area. May we be one as you have made us one. We ask you to gift each leader with imagination and creativity in this new season for wisdom and courage to proclaim your kingdom, for strength and resilience to keep stepping forward in leadership. Keep them close to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. In this picture, you can see St Michael's Church in Ponsonuth, but in the foreground, in the car park of our local pub, the Stag, you can see our village pantry. Let's pray for all those who are in need of extra food. Lord, we pray for those in this place who seek employment, who live under financial pressure or who experience food insecurity. We pray for the changes that are needed in our society to break the growing cycle of poverty. Help us, Lord, to see individuals' needs. Lead us in a spirit of radical generosity and bless the work of those who seek to relieve suffering.
Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. As we come to the end of this path, we can just glimpse and see the school, a place of learning and formation of young people. And so we pray together for this school um, and other schools that we are aware of. Loving Lord, we pray for blessing over the formation of young minds and characters in this season. We pray into the competing sources of significance at this stage of their life. We pray for those who belong to this community, who experience additional needs, mental ill health and food insecurity. We pray that this school community will be a place of connection, support and restoration. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, we thank you for these special places where body, soul and minds are refreshed. Father of joy, will you bless these places with laughter, creativity and refreshment. We pray for young and old, for those who have and have not, to find connection with you and with others in this place. Light of the world. Penetrate the darkness today. May we be quick to draw near and to bring your comfort and your hope on a dark day. In Jesus' name. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord, our God, show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. As we continue our walk, we continue to pray for the houses and people we pass. God of all the earth, we pray your blessing on these houses and the people in them. May they experience the love you hold them in so strongly and come to trust in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. As we turn this corner onto the main street of the village, we see the post office and shops and pharmacy, the small businesses at the heart of this community. And so we pray for these businesses and for others in your community. Loving Lord, we thank you for these local businesses and we bless those who serve and connect our community from day to day. Help us, Lord, to be careful consumers May our presence in these places be shaped by your kingdom and a commitment to the welfare of both the local and global producers. 
In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. We pray for families and friendships to be formed by a spirit of joy, love, patience, forgiveness and peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. As we come now back to where we started our walk and as we prepare to finish, we pray that God will be moving amongst us in our in our own communities, in the places where we live and work. Lord God, we pray for your spirit to stir our hearts, to give us eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts that seek your kingdom in this place and the places where we are. Open the door for opportunities to declare the mystery of Christ in this season. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we come to the end of our walk, we share together in the prayer that Jesus taught us, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we come to the end of our walk and of our time of worship today, we share in a song that thanks God for his guidance in our lives and prays that he will continue to walk with us through the days to come. And so we sing together, Lord, for the years your love has kept and guided.
finish our time of worship today with a blessing. May God be gracious to you and bless you and make his face shine on you so that his ways may be known on earth, his salvation among the nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. Amen.